This video is packed. It has so much I'm going to tell you about. An, an election coming up is the first time the Appraisal District Board of Directors election has ever happened. I'm going to tell you where you can get information on that. I'll give you everything you need to know. Then I'm going to talk about the tax assessor election that just ended. Next, I'm going to talk about the scandalous ransomware attack that's going on at the appraisal district, what it means to you, how it's going to affect you, some details on that. Also, that just happened on the heels of their security report that was a result of the last hack that happened. I'm going to tell you uh, what's going on a little bit with that and also what to expect this year with tax protest. I'm also going to talk about a client appreciation party that I had recently and some breaking news that I unveiled there, what's going on and what we're going to do moving forward through this next year. I've got all sorts of stuff to cover with that. And then finally, our website. We're going to have some changes at chandlercrouch.com. I want to tell you about those changes and we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. Let's dive into it. Here we go. If you go to chandlercrouch.com, anytime over the next two weeks, you might find that our website is not working. And I want you to know that I'm aware of this. It's planned. It's something that I want to do before tax protest season comes. And it's something that I'm going to try to minimize. We've prepared a long time for this, but there are some unavoidable challenges that are going to come with it. I'm hoping it could be as little as a 30 minute delay, but worst case scenario, I'm thinking about a week is possible. I just want you to be aware of that. If you see people online talking about how they can't access our website, please hop in there. Let them know that this is to be expected. I can't just put out a little screen that says under construction or whatever, because we're changing the domain name servers and all sorts of crazy stuff. So just wanted to tell you about that. We have had a lot going on here at Chandler Crouch Realtors. I want to tell you all about it and tell you what our plans are for this year. Recently, we had a client appreciation party. It was so, so good to get to thank everybody in person. Here's a clip of it. The number one person that I want to thank tonight is you guys. As we've kicked around different slogans, one slogan that makes a lot of sense, it's to uh, party together and change the world. And until tonight, we couldn't say that we've partied together, but now we can say we're partying together. So thank you guys so much for coming. I truly appreciate it. It was so good to get out of this office and thank people in person, including three vendors that we have been working with for over 10 years. Endersby Photography, Alex Varela and the Varela team over at Neighborhood Loans, and then our title team, we've got Randa, Heidi, and Clint. It was so cool. They're a big part of our success. If you're one of our real estate clients, you probably recognize their names, but those aren't the only people. We also have people that have donated. Here's what we're doing this year in Chandler Crouch Realtors. You may have heard of the lawsuit that was going on with the National Association of Realtors. Everybody was going wild saying that it's going to completely change the industry. Well, I don't think it's going to change the industry all that much. However, it has opened the door for us to take a project I've been working on to the next level. And here's what it is. It is our secret inventory of homes, our easy sale program. And it's designed so that sellers, some somebody that's thinking that they might want to move, but they're not quite ready to fix up their house, or they don't want to have to be available for showings, or they want to make sure they're getting absolute top dollar for their home and they're willing to wait a little while. For these people, we can negotiate very favorable terms, or we, we can put you in a position so we can potentially do that. For buyers, the way we're going to do that is we present this list of houses they can't find anywhere else to buyers. And we say, hey, if you would value finding a list of houses that you can't find anywhere else, and you're willing to offer the seller an extended time to vacate the house after you close, or you're willing to offer an as-is price with without them having to fix up their house, or you're willing to offer, uh, maybe you want it now and you can't do any of those other things, but you're willing to offer a top dollar for the house, then this is a way for us to be able to negotiate a real win-win scenario where you can have an opportunity to negotiate very favorable terms and get access to houses you can't find anywhere else. And so I'm really excited about that. We're also going to be giving back. I didn't start with property taxes because I was really 
passionate about property taxes. I started with property taxes because I'm really passionate about helping people. And that just happened to be the area where my help was needed and we could serve at a high level. Well, we're going to start a different project this year. We want to be part of the good news about what's happening in our communities. We want to find hometown heroes of people that are already giving back and serving. We want to do interviews, tell their story and bring those videos to you so that you can see their stories and we get to be part of the good news of what's already happening. We also wanna highlight what makes our communities and our neighborhoods such a great place to live. I believe is largely because of the people. We don't have mountains or beaches, but we have the best people in the world. So we're doing interviews, uh, highlighting what makes our community such a great place. And I cannot wait to bring those videos to you. It's gonna be really exciting. Watch our website, our YouTube page, and Facebook. We'll be distributing them everywhere. At the client appreciation party, I had several people asking how they could donate, and I wasn't handing out my link that day because that's not what it was about. But uh, man, am I thankful. We need all the help we can get. So whether you are a real estate client or not, if you want to donate and support what we're doing, I'm leaving a link in this email. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Next, I want to let you know what's going to happen this year with your tax protests and what are the timelines, what do you need to be ready for, all of that stuff. But I cannot begin to even think about talking about that without covering the security report and what's going on with the ransomware. All those subjects relate and I'm going to dive into it. But if I actually did it justice, I would begin this story back when Jeff Law started working at the appraisal district and they began having software issues, but I can't get into all of that. There are more twists and turns and plot twists than uh, an episode of The Guiding Light or something, As the World Turns, property tax software style. It's just scandalous as all get out. I'm talking I, I, people, family members being hired to work at the appraisal district, family members working at the company that that created the software and companies being sold, money's changing hands, politicians being lied to, all sorts of scandalous stuff. I'm going to give you access to another video I'm going to do on all of that stuff. I'm going to spell it all out. I'm going to because nobody else will. But let me focus right now on what's going to happen. So the, I, to keep all these hacks straight, we just maybe should name them. But there was a, they found that there was a security issue and they identified the security issue back in October, 2022. The security report that just came out is over that incident. The reason I'm even bringing this up right now is because of some misleading headlines that I saw stating that taxpayer information was not accessed, not exposed on the internet. That's just misleading. If you look at the report, it said they had a medium level of certainty that taxpayer information was not exposed on the internet. It also went on to say that critical evidence that was necessary to identify the extent of the hack and breach, whatever you want to call it, was deleted. Evidence was deleted and administrator passwords were accessed. So potentially all the evidence was deleted or you might not have even needed it because they had all the passwords. Now, here's what, what, what does that mean? There's nothing new here. I sent you an email back in November after I saw the evidence firsthand and said, taxpayer information is exposed on the internet. What does that mean? Your driver's license is probably it. For 99.5% of people, your driver's license was potentially exposed on the internet. For half of 1% of people, additional information might have been released because when you submit evidence to be used in a property tax hearing, then that evidence has to be stored somewhere. That evidence was potentially released on or exposed on the internet. And half of 1% of people included their loan application forms whenever they purchased their house unknowingly. I know that because I've seen it firsthand. Okay. I don't know what they do with that. It was probably on the server. Maybe not. Who knows? But for 99.5% of people, it was just your driver's license. You got to figure out what's at risk. Um, for having your driver's license out there? I think probably not a whole lot. Probably they, if they had your driver's license and social security number, bank account, all that stuff, oh yeah, they can do anything they want. But anyway, be vigilant, do what you gotta do, look after yourself, but that's the truth. Moving on, what does that mean? Well, now that group that did that investigative report 
somehow didn't notice that the system was actively being hacked at the very moment they were doing their investigation and now we're being held ransom for it. So first of all, if I was the appraisal district, I'd be asking for a refund on that report. Second of all, we won't know what's going to happen with tax protests this year until they can get out from under this ransom threat. They're being held for ransom and, and demanded to pay $700,000 for us to be able to get access to the system so that we can have regular protests this year. If everything happened as planned, value notices would be sent out April 15th. As it is now, when you email them, the emails bounce back. That you can't run a search on their website. They're not gonna be able to do anything until we get past this. So I don't know what to expect. I'm gonna send you another email mid-April. If you wanted to cancel my representation, or do anything at the appraisal district for that matter. I don't think you could. I don't think that we, I don't think that they can do anything about it. So um, what's going to happen is they're probably going to send the value notice to me and then I'm going to send it to you. And um, we're just going to take it one day at a time. I'm going to send you an email letting you know what's going on. And, and I think if, if I'm representing you, more than likely, we're going to have a different avenue to go down. It'll probably be a smoother road for us because um, the general public is going to uh, create this log jam situation and, and stresses on the system that I'm not going to create because I've got a different, they don't want me walking in the lobby and just dumping 30, 40,000 protests on them. So um, anyway, there's that. That's what to expect. Hang tight. Now we need to talk about the tax assessor election. I told you who I believe to be the worst candidate. I was very blatant about that. You guys responded and the worst candidate did not win. I don't care to dogpile on that. In fact, I would say I respect her for her willingness to uh, serve the public. It's, it was more than most of us can say. The general election for the tax assessor is yet to happen. I am not going to get involved in that. Um, I wanted to tell you what only I could tell you, and that was my personal experience and what I knew was going on behind the scenes. And if I didn't share that information with you, there'd be no way for you to know. And so uh, thank you for responding. You guys are the heroes and uh, we're heading in a better direction because of the support and the action that you've taken. So just wanted to give you a virtual high five on that one. Next up is our TAD Board of Director election. It's the first time an election like this has ever happened. It's because of new legislation that they've implemented because largely what's happened here in Tarrant County. So you're going to get the credit for that too. Way to go. Now we are going to get taxation with representation. Finally, it's mind boggling that this whole system has gone so long without us having a representative at the appraisal district. And so I am, it, it's a huge victory for accountability and transparency and for taxpayer rights. It's not going to change a whole lot for our values, but when they run amok and they start attacking taxpayers, we're going to now have somebody as our advocate there. And you need to know a little bit about this election. So what I'm doing is I'm interviewing all of the candidates. In fact, I've already got the interviews done. I'm getting the videos ready. I'm going to post it on our blog. I'm going to send you an email. You're going to get to hear from these candidates firsthand, get to size them up. If you happen to be free on April the 8th, I've been invited to be a moderator at the Grapevine Republican Club. You're going to have to Google it. I'm probably not going to even leave a link. Um, there are tons of these little events happening. It's kind of fractured and all over the place. Uh, I've been invited to uh, the uh, Good Trouble Lunch Bunch. It's a Democrat group. This is a nonpartisan race. This has nothing to do with party affiliation. It has everything to do with taxpayer representation. And so I couldn't be more excited to participate in anything I'm invited to. If my schedule allows, I'm doing it. I'm all in and I'm so excited. Uh, this is because of your action, your hard work, and the price that we have all had to pay in putting up with this system for so long. So I think we've got a lot of good candidates and I can't wait to bring that to you. Stay tuned for that. And whew, that is it. That is a lot for one video. Thank you for watching, hanging in there. And I cannot thank you enough for your support. We're going to be um, just for tax protests one more time. I just want to say, uh, hang on there. You're going to be getting another email from me uh, somewhere in the middle of April. Um, but we got your back. And uh, if you, there's not a whole lot we can do to do anything at this point with the appraisal district, if it involves their internal functions of the website, because they're under attack. And so uh, we're going to keep you updated one step at a time, bring you the most important stuff that I can. And I appreciate you. Have a great day. Happy Easter. Over now.